पिछले दिनों में जिस तरीके से अर्बेनाइजेशन हुआ है जिस तरीके से समाज में बदलाव आ रहे हैं महिलाओं की सुरक्षा का विषय और बिल्कुल केंद्र में आ गया है निर्भया का जैसे एपिसोड हुआ या बाकी एपिसोड भी अगर आप रोज देखेंगे कहीं ना कहीं होते हैं कहीं गांव में होते हैं कहीं शहर में होते हैं सिर्फ रेप नहीं महिलाओं के प्रति अत्याचार भी आ, हमारे समाज में काफी है और मैं समझता हूं कि पूरे समाज में एक सोच उसके प्रति आ, कायम होना बहुत जरूरी है कि किसी समाज कितना विकसित है कितना सभ्य है इस बात से मालूम पड़ना चाहिए कि वहां महिलाओं की स्थिति कैसी है ये बहुत जरूरी है कि हमारी महिलाएं आत्मनिर्भर हों दो बातें उसमें बहुत महत्वपूर्ण हैं एक तो उनके लिए अच्छी शिक्षा की व्यवस्था और उनको रोजगार के अवसर दोनों और अभी तक हमारे यहाँ बहुत बात हुई है जैसे आरक्षण की बात आती है पंचायतों में आरक्षण है बहुत अच्छी बात है लेकिन सिर्फ उससे ही वो आत्मनिर्भर बन जाएंगे उनके पास आर्थिक ताकत आ जाएगी ऐसा नहीं है मुझे लगता है कि शिक्षा और उनको समर्थ बनाना ताकि वो अपने पैरों पर खड़ी हो सकें और सही निर्णय ले सकें अपने बारे में स्वतंत्रता पूर्ण निर्णय ले सकें वो बाद में आता है क्या पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज में रिजर्वेशन है क्या पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज उतना रिप्रेजेंटेशन देती है जो पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज बहुत लंबा जोर जोर से नारे लगाती हैं उसके बारे में क्या उनकी जो शीर्ष संस्थाएं हैं वहां पर महिलाएं हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि लिप सर्विस ज्यादा है ये जो आरक्षण की बात कह के और आरक्षण के सवाल को लटकाते रहना लगाता है ये सिर्फ कहने की बात है और इससे कुछ नहीं होना जाना है लेकिन अगर सही तौर से अगर आप देखें तो कांग्रेस वर्किंग कमेटी हो भाजपा की कार्य समिति हो सीपीएम की पोलित ब्यूरो हो सीपीआई की पोलित ब्यूरो हो सेंट्रल कमेटी हो क्या वहां पर महिलाओं का प्रतिनिधित्व तो है और अगर आप अपने अंदर महिलाओं का प्रतिनिधित्व तो नहीं ला सकते तो बाहर जाके ये मांग करना मुझे लगता है कि बहुत ही शैलो बात है यह सिर्फ नारेबाजी की बात है इससे कोई भला नहीं होगा अब पंचायतों में जैसे रिजर्वेशन किया उसका थोड़ा देख लीजिए आप क्या स्थिति है पिछले दिनों प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा कि ये सरपंच पति आपको देखा अगर उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर आप जाएं बिहार के अंदर जाएं तो बाहर लिखा होगा सरपंच पति यानी सरपंच कोई है लेकिन ताकत किसी और के पास है ये ये तो सिर्फ आरक्षण से कोई समस्या का समाधान होगा ऐसा लगता नहीं है उनको ताकत देने की आवश्यकता है लेकिन जितनी महिलाएं आगे आती हैं वो अपनी सामर्थ्य क्षमता शक्ति इससे आती है बल्कि उन्हें कुछ ज्यादा शो करना पड़ता है तब आगे आती है हम चाहे ना चाहे ये एक पुरुष प्रधान समाज है मेल डोमिनेटेड सोसाइटी है उसमें महिलाएं क्योंकि मैं जिस फील्ड में हूं पत्रकारिता में ब्रॉडकास्टिंग में वहां महिलाएं बहुत ठीक संख्या में है लेकिन मैं देखता हूं कि उनको अपने को प्रूव करने के लिए कहीं ज्यादा काम करना पड़ता है तो आपका जो सवाल था कि आ, क्या ह्यूमैनिटी से अलग हो जाए लेकिन ह्यूमैनिटी की बात हो ठीक है एक आ, आदर्श के तौर पर सीधे ये बात होनी चाहिए कि भाई अपनी योग्यता क्षमता के अनुसार ही चाहे वो पुरुष पुरुषों या महिलाएं वो आगे आए लेकिन मैं आपसे दूसरी बात कहना चाहता हूं कि महिलाओं को आगे आने के लिए कहीं ज्यादा दिखाना पड़ता है तब भी आ पाती है तो इसलिए उनमें जो आगे आई है उनमें कहीं अधिक क्षमता है ताकत है और योग्यता भी विमेन इकोनॉमिक फोरम मींस एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट और अ फोरम where uh, women entrepreneurs women could come and get more powerful more economic uh, independence
the one the one moment i can recall immediately would be actually my daughter's birth I entered the Indian police service at 21 and a half. I came from a very strong sports background, but a family which was very authentic in its living. Very focused, valued time, had value systems intact, never greedy, enough to live quality life, never it was never aspiring for anything more. It was looking for academic sports creativity and a personally disciplined life not ascetic life but something which was the correct way of living that's what i came from sports was my background academics was my background also uh, serving the country was also my background my father and mother used to inspire me to grow up we all girls they were never talking about marriage with us they were always talking about education and a uh, personal sense of achievement so uh, sp nationalism was very strong in my every time i would sing national anthem there would be tears in my eyes there would be goose pimples business was not money and business was not in my head my father came from a landed property he had hotels that was not in my what was in is what can i do for my country how can i serve the nation and since i was academically and sports very good background i qualified for the all india civil services and the indian police service became my first preference over central services i walked into the service what i was actually prepared for because i loved sense of justice as a sports girl I had very good hard work and stamina right for you it may be appearing how did i make it as a woman for me it was natural because i had already led a life of very very careful time management joyfully disciplined hard work justice fair play traveling around the country no no i was i had no superiority or inferiority complex i treat, treated myself as equal i believed in merit so i walked into the service it was a shock or a surprise for the world not for me not for my family i married at the age of after i joined the service as i joined the service i married a tennis friend who also believed who also respected whatever were my decisions so this is how life began it was ahead of its time my joining the indian police service the manner in which we were brought up the the way the family rallied around it was ahead of its time that's why it put me ahead of its time so if hard work is difficult um, um, others others not understanding is difficult or is just challenge it was for others not for me i delivered with integrity my value system was honesty and uh, being being fair and being sensitive to compassion so i was entering the police service as a as a, a strong human being I think a stage in life when you learn to live with yourself you rise above you rise above these kinds of uh, accolades people recognize or not doesn't matter whether you recognize yourself vidya balan was exactly re repeating herself how she developed her own self belief and overcame overcame her own doubts even areas of doubts and that's how she emerged and that is what she says it set her free i also set myself free long ago because for me when the promotion comes where the posting goes who thinks what i had risen above that because i always focused on what am i here for and what must i do so that the purpose is met and that i deliver i don't dis cheat myself i don't be dishonest to myself before i'm honest to you i have to be honest to myself
more women are getting into the area of entrepreneurship uh, and uh, uh, see the young startup system is a system which is actually a level playing field whether it is men or whether it is women okay unlike when you start looking at other areas and you say oh there is no opportunity available uh, here it is you know anybody with uh, uh, a great idea uh, anybody with uh, uh, the capabilities of developing that into a product can actually convert that into to a business reality so you know this really lets whether it is men or women it provides them with equal opportunity uh, and uh, we would definitely like more and more women entrepreneurs to come up uh, and realize their dreams मेन होल्ड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्काई माओ ने कहा था तो फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्काई जो होल्ड कर रही हो पूरी एक समूह तो उसके लिए कोई फोरम हो ग्लोबल लेवल का हो और वो भारत में आयोजित हो रहा हो इससे अच्छा सुनने में अच्छा लगता है a lots of very powerful dynamic women who are not really put on the pedestal or don't get an opportunity be, to be to be shown to the world um as to what our success stories are a forum like this is very unique because it's very international in nature uh, this is the first um conference in india that i've visited or or attended or spoken at where over 300 delegates are from all over the world and um, these are people who are really genuinely interested in doing business with india business with women in india and and knowing more about the entrepreneurs that are there in in india as a whole last few years you've seen you know uh, incidences of agitation by young people when they come on streets and and talk about uh, the gang rapes that have happened of the atrocities that we've seen against women and the people who are doing it are boys and young men which to my mind is a positive thing because if young men and young Uh, adults are thinking this way it goes to show that in their lives they will do something positive to stop these things from happening it won't happen overnight they're a very large country and we'll still have some instances of of atrocities against women but things as such as acid attack female infanticide dowry um, all these things are a stigma on our society and increasingly you are seeing a lot of government plus non government uh, institutions taking them on uh, we've had some successes but it it can't just be the job of a government it has to be society plus the government working together to make this a reality i have been born and brought up in nagpur um we are two siblings my brother and i my parents have always um, uh, inculcated inculcated in us a feeling that we both were equals and we both got equal opportunities everywhere and uh, since childhood we were into sports which taught us sportsman spirit uh, we were into um, we were very good into studies both uh, my brother and i and subsequently since we were hammered that we should be uh, independent I joined this job wherein I continue I'm continuing till now even after marriage my husband has been supportive that I should always continue working and have my own identity so it has been a journey full of um, professional achievements and personal satisfaction and as a people of Pakistan I feel that we should not stop blaming the governments and all this because i feel india has done it. that's my idea thing about india that india is not relying on the government the youth has come up they are doing their own things and they are not just they know he's the prime minister and he's the governor and he's the district manager but they have put their own efforts into their country they have made the country themselves i going to take this marriage for my people of pakistan ke ab logon ko blame karna chode aur apne apne dam pe kuch is mulk ke liye kare the women themselves need to change and that's what i feel like the i don't see the difference between man and woman we are all human beings men go through as much difficulties in setting up their businesses as women go through i don't think 
that there is any difference in fact i would say that some places women have an advantage because they are a woman i think their glamour or their personality they can get a lot more than what men can actually get so it's not like that i i mean i don't want any sympathy at all in my whole journey i have done i fought throughout myself i never expected that my husband should come and fight the battle for me or my father should come and fight the battle for me i fought it myself and i did what i wanted to do and still i'm doing what i want to do whatever i have dreamt i make i realize that dream and i don't believe i do believe in destiny but i have to make my destiny i don't sit back and say that oh well you know wait and watch maybe if you're lucky you will you know you your goa property will come up oh no i don't believe in that when i dreamt that i'm going to have my second hotel in goa it was a dream and i have worked to achieve that dream thought is when your subconscious gets translated into something which is very conscious which then translates to ideas and then ideas become actions and that's how quality of life changes i've had a lot of different things and trials tribulations that have happened um recently i moved the guy who was moving me had a heart attack and died on my floor and i had to pump and try and save his life and he just wouldn't come back but i didn't look at it as the worst thing i looked at it as maybe it was just a sign that i really need to appreciate the life that i have and the things that i have and it could easily have been me so i don't always look at things on the negative no matter how bad it is because you only live once and as long as you're breathing and you're healthy and you're moving and you're positive you should be grateful it's a it is a huge honor to kind of you know to kind of to kind of suddenly Uh, validate all your struggles with an award, you know, and uh, that comes to me totally out of the blue, and totally as 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 you, the universe's validation say, you know, we have been watching, or we have been seeing it all, or this is our way to kind of say, you know, this is a, a recognition. And trust me, when you do that for me, you do that for the other women who are also, you know, struggling on their own as well. and uh, and maybe not so much out in the open socially not so much you know with these voices that you know that uh, i bring to the fore probably they all have voices but they are all you know still struggling to find a voice so it it also validates them it also validates the, a whole lot of single mothers who are also working to support their children and i have met you know once i shared my said i met so many single mothers here who kind of just came up to me and said you know we completely you know this your story and i am so kind of you know grateful that you you're out here and you spoke in some in in a, in a way you spoke for us as well and, and that is extremely you know encouraging for me and it, it it just empowers you even more to kind of say you know my god uh, you know that there's so much still more to do you know and and a forum like this just provides a platform to kind of meet other women from all over the world who have so many so many of their own stories to also share and that you know probably kind of you know builds the entire um, network of you know of connecting with other women because when you connect with one woman you connect with her entire society her entire um, you know community that she represents or comes from and the entire learnings from there you know become part of your learnings that you know you also absorbing and learning so for me it's huge like i said i'm a sponge i'm just being asked to you know <laughs> just soak me all over the place <laughs> I saw you know it doesn't feel so long but I have been working 30 years now and uh, straight out of um, management school I joined another IT company so the entire 30 years have been in IT and consulting and uh, I switched uh, 
first between two Indian companies and then joined uh, Capgemini in 2000 and uh, was part of the core team that set up the capability in India. So it's been a great journey. I think when I even saw the prospect, fantastic, knowledgeable, for me, unique, interactive. And at the end of it, I would say self-fulfilling. For the Women's Economic Forum? Yeah. Well, what comes into my mind right now, um, after three days of being around some of the most powerful women in the world, is that it's a gift from God that I'll always cherish. Uh, it's, um, it's unbelievable to be able to be sitting next to a Pakistani woman and an Indian woman and someone from Morocco and we're all talking and sharing our stories and to realize that we all have the same challenges, we have the same dreams and that uh, me being from the U.S. have so much more opportunity and I feel so much more um, flexibility and freedom, you know, freedom to do what I want and that it inspires me to want to help and to educate. Yesterday we did a class called The Great Debate, Can Women Have It All? And uh, at the end of the debate, we changed the question uh, from can women have it all, which is a difficult question, because what is it and what is all? I know it goes with the theme of All Ladies League, but uh, the, the panel that I was hosting, we had two for and two against, and we changed the question to um, how can women just be? And just be. And it's okay to just be who you are, and not always be trying to change to be like a man or try to be like somebody else. That if you really live in your authentic self and with your, with your own true purpose, that you can change the world. And so being here at the Women's Economic Forum is a platform for sharing that message and also for encouraging others to have that same confidence that they, can do, they really can do what they want and they can just be complete in, in what they want. And I know a lot of people are in careers that they don't love. And my whole life, I have always loved my careers. I've always loved it. And as I said, the one that I dreamed about my whole life, and as soon as I got there, said this isn't for me, I left. Because I couldn't live around people that were negative. So being here at the Women's Economic Forum in India is a dream because there's so many people that do want to live their purpose and they live at a higher conscious level and the frequency and the energy of everybody here is at such a different level. I don't think I'll ever see it again. It's maybe next year when I come to the Women's Economic Forum.